It's hard not to think about it kind of throughout the season, um, but you kind of keep pushing it off. I mean, it's, it just makes, you know, it just makes you really appreciate what we have here. Um, you know, coaches talk about it all the time, you know, it's going to fly by, and, you know, you're going to blink and you're going to be graduating, you're going to be, you know, going through senior day, and, you know, that happened to me for, you know, those 16 other guys today. Um, and to just to see their emotion means that, you know, they care about the team just as much as, you know, I do or, you know, guys who are getting snaps do. And it's pretty cool sitting out there. You know, I always try to, you know, let the guys, um, you know, finish on the field and then come in and, and make sure everybody's in the locker room before I go in and talk to the team. But, you know, watching those seniors kind of soak Beaver Stadium in for the last time. And Jan Johnson was one of the last guys kind of walking around. And um, you think about all the things that he's been able to do here at, at, at Penn State. It's pretty impressive. And then you got Blake Gillikin that didn't know where Penn State was during the recruiting process. Yeah, I had no idea. Um, a lot of guys, a lot of people from my high school would go to UPenn. I thought they were the same thing. And watching him walk around the stadium and kind of soak it all in as well. You know, and then, you know, and then guys like Yuri, you know, is in there and is full of emotion. And Jake Zembeck, full of emotion. And that's what it's all about, that culture of you know, everyone buying into their roles, you know, regardless of what it is and, you know, believing in that. And, you know, whatever your role is, it's going to help the team win. And to see guys like that, you know, you know, buy into that and have those emotions after, you know, their last game in Beaver Stadium is, you know, really special. It's, it's, not even, it's not even a specific moment, I think. It's just spending time with the guys in the locker room. Just the relationships you, you create here with, with the staff and the players, those are lifelong relationships where um, I love some another, another guy and he loves me back. It, it hit me like once we started to go through like the process, you know, at the hotel, you know, I was like, it's, this is my last time, you know, getting on the bus, going to Penn State, or you know, last, you know, dinner with the team, um, and then you know, I saw my mom out there. I you know, gave her the flowers and she was balling. And, you know, my mom doesn't get emotional a lot, so that you know, was really special to see. Um, so you know, it kind of hit me all at once, but you know, it was, it was, it's been a heck of a ride and, you know, and a great experience. Just got off the radio with with Jack Ham, and uh, you know, to hear the pride in his voice, you know, all those former Lettermen. Uh, proud of, of kind of where we're at and what we're doing and to watch those seniors and the impact that Penn State's had on them and the impact they've had on, on our university and the community as well. It's, it's really pretty cool.